Grade 4 math, number 83, fraction comparison word problems. I'm going to do a real quick review here. An improper fraction has a numerator that is larger than its denominator. 5 thirds is improper because the 5 is bigger than the 3. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. A mixed number is a whole number with a fraction. 1 and 2 thirds is a whole number 1 with a fraction of 2 thirds, which represents a whole one and then something split into three parts, see denominator three, and you have two of them, okay? So here's our word problem. When Tala planted her apple tree, it was one and a half meters tall. See, it was just a little baby tree. Now years later, it is five times taller than when it was planted. How tall is the apple tree? So we think to ourselves, what do I need to find? I need to find the height of the apple tree now, right? What information do I need to use? Well, it was one and a half meters high when it was planted, and it's five times that height now. How will I use the information? I can draw a diagram, or I can write an equation. Okay? So we think to ourselves, we can draw a model comparing the heights, which I did. This is when it was planted, and it was one and a half meters tall. Sorry that my focus is not going. I put my hand, it's because I'm putting my hand there. And uh, now it's five times taller. See? We can write an equation with h equaling the height of the big tree now. Okay? The height is five times one and a half meters. Okay? Because it was one and a half meters when it was planted, and now it's five times that. Okay? So the height is equal to 5 times 1 and a half. We turn the 1 and a half into an improper fraction. 1 times 2 is 2, plus the 1 numerator is 3, and that gives us 3 halves. 5 times 3 halves. We multiply the 5 times the numerator, which is 15, and we put that over the 2 denominator, and we have 15 halves. Now we divide, because a fraction line is like a division sign. 15 divided by 2 is 7 with 1 left over. That means the 1 is going to go over the 2 as the denominator and we have 7 and a half meters tall. The apple tree is now 7 and a half meters tall. See? We used the little one as comparison and we multiplied that one by 5 times more. Alright, let's see what's going on with some animals here. Lisa's cat, Kitty Purry, weighs eight pounds. If Mr. Pugs weighs two and a fourth times more than the cat, how much does Mr. Pugs weigh? Well, we think to ourselves, what information will I use? We know that Kitty Purry weighs eight pounds, and we know that Mr. Pugs weighs two and one fourth times more. If we draw a model, here's Kitty Purry, and Mr. Pugs is two and one-fourth times the weight of Kitty Purry. See? We write an equation. W is going to equal the weight of Mr. Pugs. Kitty Purry is eight pounds, and Mr. Pugs is two and a quarter pound uh, times that, two and a quarter times what Kitty Purry weighs. So we have eight times two and one-fourth. We turn the two and two-fourths, two and one-fourths into a fraction. We multiply the two times the denominator, which is eight. Two times four is eight. We add the one numerator and we get nine. That gives us an improper fraction of nine-fourths. Now we need to do the eight times the nine-fourths. We multiply the whole number times the numerator. Eight times nine is seventy-two, and we put it over the denominator four we have 72 fourths. Knowing that the fraction line is like a division sign and knowing we can't leave this as an improper fraction, we do 72 divided by 4. 4 goes into 72, 4 goes into 7 one time, we put the 4 here, we do our subtraction, and we get 3. Now it's the 2's turn to come down. Now we have 32, 4 goes into 32 8 times, 4 times 8 is 32 with a remainder of 0. So we know that Mr. Pugs is 18 pounds. Okay?
So we used the weight of one animal as a comparison of the other animal. See? We used Kitty's weight as a, as a measuring guide. We probably could have even answered it if we went with just the models. Because if Kitty is this one and weighs 8 pounds, that means each one of these is an 8 pounds, right? And if one-fourth of this one uh, needs to be figured out, we take the 8 and split it into 4s, and that would be 2, 2, 2, and 2, right? To make that an 8. And we would know we have 8 plus 8 plus 2, which is same thing. It's 18 pounds, all right? So you can use one thing as a comparison for another thing when you're doing fractions, okay? Now you know how. I'm going to keep talking math. I hope you stay with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.